You know, there's something every day that just flat out fascinates me. Always something new in the news. And always something going on. You get, get word today that... Uh, uh, what is the word yesterday? That 300 and some thousand people and businesses in Detroit haven't paid their water bill. And they're getting shut off. Now... I'm thinking, if the city of Detroit shuts off all those people from the water, uh, they could create a riot. Because <laughs> for some reason, people think that this country owes them something. And I remember the words of John F. Kennedy uh, when he said, Think not what uh, this country can do for you. But what this, but what you can do for this country, and there's a lot of people who think that uh, that the government owes them, and I've yet to really comprehend that because uh, the the country doesn't owe you nothing. And if anything, you should be thankful you're living in a free country. But keep an eye on Detroit, okay? And keep an eye on the cities around you. Apparently water has become an issue. But I ran into one person who uh, hadn't paid the water bill in 12 months, one year. And they were irritated because their water was about to get shut off. I said, why are you irritated? They said, well, the city's about to shut my water off. I said, well, you didn't pay your bill for, for 12 months. What do you expect them to do? They have to get your attention somehow. Well, that ain't right. You know, well, why isn't it right? You had no trouble using the water. But I just wanted to use that as a, you know, an example of what's going on. All right? It just seems like if there's nothing going on, something always gets generated and it's going on. And also, too, if you haven't noticed yet, go to your grocery store. Now, it might seem subtle, but food prices are going up, okay? They're not claiming inflation yet. They're not going to claim inflation until it comes to a point to where we really have to cut back on our other extracurricular activities in order to be able to afford bread and milk and food on our table, okay? That's just how quickly things are going. And I just wanted to put the video out here tonight to let you know that what you don't see, other people are looking for or other people are keeping an eye on. And um, go to the grocery store this week. And you know what? Buy a pound of ground chuck. And you'll find that it's almost doubled in price. Um, just about everything has gone up. You used to walk out of there with at least six or seven bags of groceries for $100. Now you're walking out with about three. And you're lucky if you get meat during that time. Okay? It's subtle. It's slowly filtering in. Gas is up here in Detroit. Gas is up to three fifty a gallon. Okay? That might not sound like much to you. I don't know where you're at in the United States. But um, we have a refinery right here. Marathon refinery. Why is our gas so expensive? It's going to get worse. Okay? It's going to get worse. Get your head out, your cl out of the clouds. Put your feet on the ground. All right? Stop living this fantasy. Of day by day. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to get caught unawares. You'll be caught by surprise. And if you are, you know what? You cannot say you haven't been told. Especially if you listen to the doc over this past year. Alright? Keep an eye out for what's going on. If they, if they shut off the water to 320 some thousand people in the city of Detroit... All right, you're going to notice on the news of a riot. <laughs> <laughs> All 
that's coming. You know, and all these all these states are having issues and stresses. California, you know, they're having water issues and they're they're actually cutting off whole towns to prevent them from in order to maintain the water supply to the big major cities. What about the people in the small towns? They're having to decide who gets water and who don't. Man, that's a hard decision to make, isn't it? Huh? All right, Talks got you six.